What's up YouTube? So I'm getting ready to flash my GSX-R 1000R with the weekend's changes I wrote last night to my file. Um, I added the fuel to it. I made some changes to the shift settings or the quick shifter. Uh, I'm going to apply that now. I'm actually on a MacBook. I'm going to flash it through Windows. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to do it through Parallels. Um, so I made changes to the shift voltages. I made changes to the fuel maps. And I think that's it. Oh, the rev limiter. I made sure it was 14,000. And Excel and decel fueling made changes. I have not done per gear mapping yet. That is something I want to get to, but I actually have to get on track with her somewhere where I can wind out fourth, fifth, and sixth gears to see how the fueling changes per gear to set the fuel trims. But anyway, I'm just going to show you how I do it. <clears throat> Normally I do a screen capture, but right now it's just easier for me to keep you on the GoPro. Uh, so I'm going to try to flash it. We'll see how it goes. I might end up having to edit it. But as it is right now, it is ready to write. Hopefully it writes without any problems. Yeah, so normally I'm hoping this works. Yeah. So yeah, but normally when that happens, what I have to do is just unlock, unplug the USB, plug it back in and try again. So one thing when you're flashing, make sure your battery has plenty of power. When you're flashing, make sure your battery has plenty of power. Make sure your computer will not go to sleep. All right, because if it does that, you're gonna be in problems. So it looks like this actually might not be wanting to write. Ah, okay, so I have to agree to it. Yeah, so this is probably something they, they added the agreeing to because, like I said, you have to make sure that your battery's charged, that the computer on the motorcycle, that it won't die. Also, you have to make sure your computer won't go to sleep. Basically, you don't want anything interrupting this process. I did that or had that happen on my ZX-10R, no fault of my own. It just locked up in the middle and luckily they gave me my race tools license once I could prove that I am who I am and it is my ECU, but it wasn't as easy as it used to be. So keep that in mind. Make sure, like I said, that your computer will not go to sleep and your battery in your car or your bike has plenty of power. You do not want to interrupt this. All right, so you can see that I'm riding and when I get done riding, I'm just gonna go over, I'm gonna go through my other maps and my shift voltages. Just explain that real quick. Go ahead and lump that in here or I'll just show them um, what I did. So for now, I'm just gonna let this uh, finish and get back once it's done writing. All right, so, so the writing is completed. I did do something I wanna make sure after I've done writing it, what I always like to do is I like to make sure that the bike will start. If the bike starts, Anyway, like I said, if the bike starts, I know that the ECU flash at least took, and I'm not going to have a problem, like it won't start when I'm trying to ride it or something. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to show you my shift settings real quick. And sorry, I apologize using the GoPro. Normally, I use a screen capture, but in this case, it was just easier. All right, so my mode two is what I use for my voltages right now and shifting. 
I'm going to make a video to go over what these actually mean. But essentially, it's just where it shifts at. So adjust them to how where it shifts the way you want it to shift with the pressure it takes. That's the quick synopsis on it. So anyway, if you like this video and you're still watching it, please subscribe uh, to my channel. I have a Z GSXR. ZX6 I will be I tune and a ZX10 that I tune. So uh like I said, just stick around, subscribe. There'll be more.